Good morning, welcome to SCADA World YouTube channel and today we have second part of our last C action scripting tutorial and today we have the, the last part of this task. So if you remember good, we have tag A, when this tag A is one, we should have this rectangle green. When this tag A is one and tag B is one, so it should be red color. After we have the C, it should be yellow. But additionally, we need to have flashing option. Okay, we lift this and today I will show you how to make the flashing with this kind of scripting. So if you remember, we have the if tag one B C one B and one. So in this moment, it should be yellow and it should be also the color of this should be yellow and also the flashing should be appear here. Okay, so how to make this? I will show you. This rectangle, we can say that this rec is rec 10 and this rec 10 is the flashing, the flash background color. Okay, so if you put the yes, we have the, for example, the red color and let's say the yellow color. After we put the yes, after we make the WinCC running, we have the flashing option on. But basically we need to set up this automatically by our scripting. Let's make the fast option so it will be much better for us. And how to make this? We have one scripting and we will leave one script for this task. Generally we have the yellow color here and we also will give the internal function, the graphics, we have the set objects, we have the color and we have the set back color or we have the set <laughs> border color, maybe not, set property, I think it will be better for us and we leave the set prop bool. Okay, so we have the picture name. The picture name is this one we use right now. And now we need to have the object name on the start object. We have rec 10. So the object name is rec 10. The property name, the property name is flashback back color flash color on off border flash back color this option is the property to flashing our color okay and the value is one because we want to say we want to have the flash back color okay basically it's enough now we can check okay we have some error i think it's because we have some more values not only one mm -hmm -hmm. okay so we need to have some brackets and this kind of brackets should help us Okay, so basically we will have the, if this one, we will go to copy paste this. We will have the flash color, flashing rectangle and the yellow color, yellow color. So let's check this. Let's make the WinCC running. Mm, okay, in this situation it should 
flash, but if you put the C into zero, it should not. And it's still flashing. Basically, we did some mistake. Mm, how to make this? I think mm, right now we need to put the setback color into zero every time. We don't need to use this. Okay, so for example, if we put here the zero and this one and the rectangle return. Okay, let's check this. Save this and make the WinCC running. The flashing is not available for us. But after I put the tag C, it's flashing again. Okay, so basically I will put more lines. Mm, let's say it will be off. Flashing color off. And on this situation we have something like this. The open brackets mm, and close the brackets. And we have the flashing rectangle on on this element. Mm, okay, and on this one I will put the something like that. Okay, let's try this. So make the WinCC running. I put the zero and zero and zero. Okay, so we have the black color without any flashing. Now the tag A. Okay, we have the green color. Tag B, we have the red color. And tag C, we have yellow and the flashing. Okay, so generally we did all this task in two simple videos. Live scripting with C action for the WinCC SCADA. If you'd like to have more of examples, let me know. Okay, if you'd like to join us on our WinCC SCADA trainings, below you have some links, you can join us and see you. Bye.